from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the, of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Father John Verteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from three donors. The first is Teresa Diaz from Mississauga, Ontario, in remembrance of her dearly departed husband, Richard, with whom she would have celebrated 63 years of marriage today. For all the deceased members of the family, the people suffering in the Ukraine, and for good health of the entire family, especially Mr. Anthony Pinto. The second is anonymous donor from California for the conversion of sinners and for the church. The third is the Lee family of Calgary, Alberta, in loving memory of their parents, Sang Jil Lee and Del Kum Yum, sister Young He Lee. May they have eternal rest and companionship and in thanksgiving for blessings received. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass that we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. As we gather from all over the world for the celebration of this Eucharist, let us ask Almighty God to forgive us our sins as together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Paul and Barnabas were at Lystra, some Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium and won over the crowds. Then they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples surrounded him, he got up and went into the city. The next day, he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city, and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, then on to Iconium and Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, it is through many persecu persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders for them in each church, with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. When they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had completed. When they arrived, they called the church together and related all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. And they stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Kingship, Lord. 
All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. They make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. When the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, Jesus said to the disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. After reading such a, a beautiful passage from John, I only have a few weak words to, to, to share with you, but maybe, maybe uh, a phrase, a quote that has made me think, and maybe this quote will help you or make you think as well. It's, uh, it's from St. Augustine, and I quote, Take care of your body as if you are going to live forever, and take care of your soul as if you are going to die tomorrow. A lot to think about, isn't it? In today's first reading, we learn of St. Paul being stoned until he was left for dead. And then he got up and went to another area to proclaim the good news of Jesus and to, with that, make many followers of Christ. 
You see, the stones didn't stop St. Paul because his spirit and faith in Christ were so strong that he was encouraged to proclaim Christ to others, no matter who tried to get in his way. My dear friends in Christ, and how nice it is that many parts of the world, many restrictions have been lifted. And I ask, have you had a chance to attend your local church and to receive the body of Jesus in Holy Communion? During Holy Week, I met with many people, in particular, one particular parishioner who for over two years was too afraid of catching something like COVID, so did not come to Mass. On that day, she decided to use all her strength to get some help from her family and come to Mass to receive Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. She told me that although that we are not out of some health dangers, her hunger for Jesus and community, being with others, gave her the courage to do everything possible to come to Mass, as she did, and she was just glowing from ear to ear that she had been able to come to. As she was leaving, I uh, asked her if she was planning on returning the following weekend. Her reply is, oh, you bet I will. I will do everything I can to come on a regular basis. As long, she said, as long as this aging body of mine and my family cooperate, my spirit is totally ready to come and continue to come and receive Jesus in the Holy Communion. How attuned are you? How attuned are you like St. Paul to the spirits of Jesus Christ? You see, the sacrament of baptism gives us that initial unity of the Holy Spirit to be, to get buried with Christ, to live with him the rest of our lives. A personal example. When I was applying to St. Augustine Seminary to begin my formation to the priesthood, I hadn't needed to look up my original baptism certificate. It was then that I discovered that I was baptized just a few days, I believe it was three or four days after my birth. <laughs> so I asked my mom, Mom, what was the rush? Some people take maybe a year, maybe six months, and maybe a little longer before they baptize their child. And mom said, well, you see, the midwife, when you were born, she suggested that I baptize you as soon as possible because you were a very skinny and very weak baby. We didn't know that you were going to survive because, again, in those days, it was... A lot, of, a lot of babies did die after birth. You see, mom was totally convinced that baptism would be the best medicine for a long and healthy life. As always, <laughs> mom was right, and here I am. Our unity with Christ, as with St. Paul, and all all the baptized. They give us the courage to proclaim who we follow on this earth and to show an example in our words, deeds, actions, and even in the midst of criticism. Have you been criticized for attending Mass? Have you heard some people say to you, oh, I get nothing out of it? My question is, what have you put into the Mass? Because God gives. When we give, He gives us more and more and more in return. And the more we practice the, the sacramental life, the closer, we stronger we, we get into the Spirit, the closer we become to Christ who is always, always close to us. So I'm not saying that being sick for one form or another is you have to disobey the doctor or anything to go like to church. But first think, as my doctor said to me, think positive, think Christ, be united with him, and ask him to give you the strength you need 
body and spirit to be united with him in the sacramental life. So again, I leave you with this beautiful quote from St. Augustine that it's made me think, and hopefully it will give you an opportunity to think, especially the days when you're a little down, especially the days when somebody might be down, that you can also be of encouragement to, to them. And so here is the quote again. Take care of your body as if you were going to live forever and take care of your soul as if you were going to die tomorrow. May God bless you. Think positive. God will be always, always on your side. Speaking about God being on our side, let us pause and pray for the intention of this month, which are for all of those in the Daily TV Mass community that have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book. We pray for all young people called to live life to the fullest. May they see in Mary's life the way to listen, the depth to discernment, the courage that faith generates, and dedication to service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For courage and persistence when we are rejected for our faith and become, in, become committed followers of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those challenged with health and family issues, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our friends and acquaintances, may our relationships be centered in Christ the Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the sponsors of this daily TV Mass from Mississauga, Ontario, California, and Calgary, Alberta, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For more vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all of the baptized united in Christ and that our Blessed Mother bless each and every one of, every one of us, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, Grace pray for us. us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God for you. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with you, goodness, have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God Lord God, we ask we see you. Hearts, Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands. We praise the glory of his name for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yes. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you as he, as he is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and into willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. I wish you peace upon you and all of those who you hold close in your heart. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ meet me to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those that you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Like the friend I referred to who came to Mass for the first time in a long time, I'm sure there's many others in their home who maybe, maybe don't have a family and maybe are looking for maybe one of you to give someone a call and give them a right to Mass. I'm sure they really appreciate it. And then you also, of course, you'd be good for all you've done as well for somebody else. So give it a thought. Give it a thought. The Lord be with you. And with yours. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Let us go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Be joyful, Mary, heavy queen, Gaudi Maria. Your son who died was living, seen. Alleluia, letare, O Maria. The Son you bore by heaven's grace, God Maria, did all our guilt and sin efface. Alleluia, let her O Maria. The Lord has risen from.